the more you know about something, often the more interesting it becomes. I'm George Plunkett, I'm a PhD candidate in Botany in the School of Environmental and Rural Science. By growing up I was exposed to, to the natural world. My parents were, were keen on bushwalking and they'd always lug us around with them. From Armidale you can reach quite a, quite a range of different habitats and vegetation community types. Say if you head east, you've got all the coastal vegetation and, and, and forests and mangroves even. Then up through the, through the escarpments, one of the most uh, biodiversity rich places in Australia. And then onto the tablelands, it's quite a unique flora there as well. And then heading out west, you've got access to uh, all the drier types of vegetation as well. At UNE I have access to quite a range of, of important resources and the most important of these for me is the herbarium. Without this I would basically wouldn't be able to do any sort of taxonomic work. And a good example of that is the new species from Tasmania that, that we recently described. I was looking through some loan material from another herbarium and found that certain specimens were, were quite distinct from others within this species. One really memorable part of my research was visiting Tasmania. We hiked up a few mountains and, and took a while to, f to find these plants because they're quite small, little mound cushion type plants. But eventually we got our, we got our eye, eye in and, and were able to collect a few really nice specimens. It turned out that it was quite a distinct and, and new species. So we just, myself and my supervisors described that in the journal Fighter Keys. You need a range of, of skills across a broad discipline actually for this field. Good grounding on plant physiology, anatomy, ecology, even entomology, soils. You need to know your different soils and, and the geology that underlies that. Yeah, I guess you just need to be comfortable with working on plants and, and be interested in them.